Hey, what's up, YouTube? Bob here at Honest Barber, Austin, Texas. Gonna cut my boy Eric's hair, doing some fun stuff. It sounds like with, with his, uh, bringing his mullet back. Cool, so you briefly told me that you wanted to go skin nice and high, keep yeah. tight. It's pretty high, yeah. aggressive. I can dig it. And then uh, keep the tight. Try to get texture or as much texture as here, and then and let some of this kind of recover. Yeah, I want I want the, the bangs to be a little bit longer, so I just kind of get the top to blend in a little more of the bangs. Yeah, for sure. I can I can totally see some of that weight here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then we'll get to the when we get to the beard, we'll we'll work it out. And that's okay. uh. Yeah, let's dig into that hair. So I'm gonna since I've never touched your head before, I'm gonna go with a conservative two on the sides just to see where the get some of that bulk off, and then uh. Yeah, we'll really dig into the to the fade. Is there going to be more of a Kentucky like waterfall mullet, or is it? Uh... You know, I, I don't know how exactly I'll do it, but. Probably, probably more of like a modern style, whatever that is. You want to like your, your classic like flat top. And then, I've never heard the term Kentucky waterfall, but I like. Oh man, that is definitely a version of the mullet. I was looking at one of my old videos, and uh, I was wearing a hat, but like the kind of like. Just some of that lettuce was coming yeah, out the back. Yeah, yeah. Out like, man, that just looks really cool. So. That's what, I, I, I dig that so many guys are in between haircuts, they're just doing like weird stuff. If they got, they don't have any big family events or like interviews or anything, they're like, yeah, let's do something weird. Yeah. Make it up for it next time. Do you get pretty classic cuts in here, or do you get a lot of? No, it's a, it's a nice mix. It's a we're not we're not doing anything like groundbreaking or uh, super edgy, but every once in a while, you know, a good good mullet or a crazy Euro crop. Yeah, stuff that's pretty standard in most parts of the world. It's nice to just throw them in the throw them in the mix. Yeah, we get uh, on the channel. You, you get a lot of hate for the. The crop, the French crop. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be asking for them in a few in a few years since we're always so behind on on the times. Yeah, even like um, even like what I'm asking for, like people in America think like a fade just needs to be this like really soft, gradual, you know, blend from from your ears up to your head. In yeah. Europe, they do like real hard yeah. transitions between the, the top and bottom. I kind of dig that stuff. You and me both. I mean, even when I, yeah, when I cut mine, I just like go straight up the sides. I cut the back of it myself. I wanted it to be a little, a little chunky and high contrast. I feel like people, like you said in Austin, are a little more accepting to some of the looks. When I first got into barbering, I was thinking that that was gonna, that was, that was the end of it. I was gonna be doing side parts. Yeah. A little bit of hard part, shave it in the rest of my career. Yeah, you guys have been doing a lot of uh, like retro, retro posts. Feels like doing some, you guys in the suits and big beards, short hair, short beards, long hair. You guys mix it up quite a bit, I like it. I can take it. One day, maybe I'll do some like hard lines or something like that. Yeah. Like hard lines, we're talking about like, like shaving and some. Well, no, I mean, like pretty much what you just had was like, or like oh, that, yeah. you know? It's just <laughs> like a nice stuff. shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. It's like a really no fade at all. But I'm not the best at getting my hair cut regularly, so. Yeah, you and me both, man. I just, I'm a. I'm a Sometimes it'll be every two weeks, sometimes it'll be every two months. Just whatever. I've got curly hair too, so I can get away with having it get a little fluffy. Everything you need for that 
even on the sides. Thankfully, mine's not super tight that I can, I can't like just brush it back a bit, but. Yeah. yeah so I do have a nice collection of hats. I do like, <laughs> I do like hats. So after debulking with that 76 or I, uh, what was the, the Oster Titan to be exact. Um, yeah, just using my good old Wall Senior, working on some of the, some of the high fade. Yeah, your, your hair texture and color is some of our favorite to, to fade. You can't really go wrong with it. Just easier to see or? No, you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. It gets a little invisible, and then so my fades look really, really good on your types of head. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that Pops liked the haircut, man. It was a... Uh... Is he going to start letting his beard grow back up on his cheeks? I don't know, man. I've been telling him that for, for years, but... He's, he's like a really... Nice and chill and tolerant guy, but he's also like surprisingly stubborn. <laughs> he's just like doesn't listen at all. And when he finally does it, it'll be his, his idea. Yeah. No, no, I mean he's not proud or anything. He's just like he doesn't have that same appreciation for for uh, like grooming and style, which is crazy because I mean, he's 72 and he's fit. You know, more fit than 90% of guys. And like probably like 100% of guys his age. Uh, so to like invest that much into his fitness and then just, you know, kind of disregard. It's really like disregarding the details. Like he's like 80% of the way there. And it's like, yeah, just, you know, like. That's his problem is that he's 80% of the way there. He's like, eh. Yeah, small <laughs> things like that where I'm trying to trying to help him see the value of it, but if it's not his thing, it's not his thing. And the little that he does do is it still pulls it off really well. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, again, it helps, like, to be fit, you know, like, I kind of feel like there's, there's, there's three things you need to take into consideration, like, your style, your clothes, your your body, your fitness, and yeah, totally. your grooming. Like, those three things. And you got to have at least two of them. You know, like if you have two of them, you're going to be better than you know, the majority of people out there. And if you have one of them, you're kind of like the average dude. And then if you uh, have all three of them, then then you're always getting nervous, right? You know? And I think the I think the the key is that yeah, it's not, it doesn't have to be like you don't have to be stellar in any of them. You just have to have a nice balance. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta know what you're doing at all three things. The little amount of effort goes a long way. Yeah. So when did you, did you get this cut last? When I, I filmed with Cisco, I did a buzz cut. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, when Carlos was in town, Randa, do you know when that was? It's probably been maybe two, two months. Yeah, I would say about two months. Yeah, It was September, I think. So that, our boy Carlos, where's, where's that guy from? Where's, what's that accent? Nobody knows. Oh, so he hasn't even... <laughs> he's the no, he's, he's, man he's, in well, he's Portuguese, ah. but he's been living in Britain for the past 11 so, years. Or so he's got that Madonna thing going on. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, we're trying to get him here into the States if, uh, you know, immigration will work with us a little bit. Does he want to come uh, hang out here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, we've been trying to get him here for like two years now. Uh, so it's just been a long journey. But we'll get him here one day. So I'm bringing down some of this part on this, uh, the top of your head just to give this a chance to maybe catch up a little quicker. A little dig in there with some, some good texture in a bit. So you've been in Austin for a while. You're not suffering from allergies because this is that's what's killing, kill, killing me right now. Yeah. That's, 
Oh yeah, I really don't have bad allergies here, knock on wood. I hear you get it after like four Yeah, years, I've probably. been here for going at seven now and it's just like I've always had allergies and now it's just like, like crazy. So far it seems to be alright. I'm kind of hoping that this is like my new voice, like my cool, yeah. sexy guy voice. Get out of the barbering business, start answering phones. There you go. A movie, do some movie magic. New voiceover, yeah. Yeah. I got the face for radio. Question. When you do kind of just like push your hair around and give it some texture, what is uh, like the normal direction that you kind of... I kind of go with the flow, yeah. Kind of depends. I ask if I dig in at this direction, some of those hairs will kind of loosen up, but they'll like lie flat. If I come in the opposite direction, those hairs will, the shorter hairs like tend to prop up the hair, depending on how you comb it. Yeah, Seems like it naturally wants to go. I can play around with it. Cool. What's coming up next for Brie Brand? What are you guys up to? Uh, just getting ready for the holidays. And we got some products in the, in the works that we're excited to launch. And then, uh, of course, Alliance Con uh, is a pretty big deal for us to get, get our, you know, really I call them our top fans and customers in, in town and celebrate with them. And, and then also we have a thing called Celebration by Beard Brand which is like a party that we put on. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard good things, it's a good time. Yeah, I got these pretty serious cowlicks on the side. Uh, yeah, I'm totally looking at them as I'm trying to comb the hair. They're just like... Yeah, they just have like a little up. point. Which, yeah, so at least they're, they're pointing up so that they uh, give you some nice volume up there. Yeah. Yeah, I think you could totally pull off like one of those like super high contrast, just like buzzed it in type, type fades. You guys get the most hate for them. <laughs> the Euro crafts are awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's clearly people who dig it, you know, so. You, you're going to get hate on anything you create. Just yeah, man. Hard creating, man. Hey, I read the comments. Yeah. Uh, Everyone's an expert, too. And you get the nice face beard and the nice neck beard too. Yeah. It's definitely had time to grow. So I'm gonna leave this little point. Maybe it'll be the beginning of his famous, his soon to be famous rat tail. There we go. I'm down. I wonder if there's like a, 
it's gotta be it's the internet right but I was gonna ask you if there's like a, a famous like rat tails of the world or like famous <laughs> all I can think of is Eddie Murphy and coming to America oh man Anakin Skywalker man oh that's true such a that movie didn't inspire me to be a barber but it inspired me to be the barber that I am <laughs> make sure that you remind everybody that they're wrong and that your your memory of history is the right version yeah I mean I was telling everyone that Molo was back like a year ago yeah, yeah, yeah. it did for whatever reason I didn't agree with it <laughs> no, it's, it's been definitely making quite the comeback. So who's coming in after this? Someone's getting their beard lopped off. Yeah, already. Already, uh, he's got a great beard too. Yeah, Are we taking it off completely? Well, I think so. And whenever he takes it off, well, I prefer Artie's look with a beard. Yeah, man. What kind of monster? What kind of what kind of monster is he? You're about to find out. A vicious monster. Mm -hmm. Vicious monster. We just posted a photo of him on Instagram and someone said this this guy looks like he gives the best hugs. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like Rhonda agrees. Yeah. Rhonda. I think we should totally leave some of this look. Shagorific stuff at the bottom. Yeah, you gotta start growing eventually, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we taper it out right now, I was like, yeah. that's like half of the power in the mullet is like that last bottom quarter where it's got the, the flow, the splash. Yeah, so this was all like buzzed off simultaneously, right? This was all like that one cut. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it was like a fake buzz. So uh, it wasn't all the same length, but it was. Yeah, it looks like it's grown out really nicely, so. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good, he's a good barber. Hey, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, that, you ever come with him? I know, I might have, uh, we run into each other at a bunch of uh, barber shows and conferences. Yeah. Uh, well known, well respected in the, the community. His mm-hmm. name is Cisco, man. Goes by Cisco. It's fucking awesome. Austin's got a good, good barber in community, I think. I hope we keep it that way. Everyone keep on stepping up their games. It's, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, I told you this the other day. It was like, what you guys are doing just to profile and just spread the word and keep it, keep it in the public eye, just... The Marvin community appreciates it. Hey, Reagan, you missed it. We were playing My Chemical Romance again. Listen to like some whale sounds or something. Yeah. I'm kind of the dad joker guy around here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like as soon as I had a kid, you know, my wife. Beautiful wife. Yeah, it was just like all the wisdom was like bestowed upon me. Bad jokes. It's like we can't help it either. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what did uh, what did the hungry uh, male fruit fly say to the female fruit fly? I'm pretty sure I know this one, but tell me. Let's go on a date. <laughs> That camera hasn't shaved. It's like it's not shaking at all. There's no laughter. There's no. Yeah, because dates are fruit. Okay. Yeah. Dates are fruit. Fruit flies eat fruit. Yeah. It's sweet. Yeah, they jump in there. And, and they wanted to go on like a date. Thanks, Eric. Snip. I'm not cutting out any wizard powers or anything, right? I'm not. We'll find out. Alright, so what's the plan? What do you want to do? Uh, 
Let's talk about this beard. Yeah. So it just, as it gets longer on the sides, it gets a little wispy. And I'll be taking it all off like next month, but. In the meantime. In the meantime, I just kind of like, like it to be nicely blended down a little bit on the sides. For sure. Are we taking anything off the bottom? Not really. I mean, if there's any kind of like split ends or anything, you can kind of clean it up, but. I feel like I'd. Keep in the weight. I feel like I'd be offending you if I said, if I might take anything off the mustache. I mean, you can take a little bit off. I mean, the, the longer I have it, the more dramatic it's going to be when I shave it off. So I would, if, if there's anything on the ends, you can yeah. go with that. So everything's just kind of like softening everything up. Yeah. Um, but I'd leave, yeah, the mustache like hanging over the lip. Oh, for sure. But and you're a brave soul. It's soup eating season, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite used to having a big old beard. Yeah. Man, you must take really good care of this. It's really high quality products. <laughs> no, it feels great, man. I'm like, not, not, not too many split ends on there. Yeah. I'll be as a side now. It feels really good. Have you measured this one yet? Are you are you a measuring kind of guy? You know, just stack up. Look at a cone. I can eyeball that. That's uh, it's like six and a half inches. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's been. I'll be ready to to shave it. So shaving is shaving. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, it'll be my first time. In like seven, eight years. Getting like a proper shave. They're completely off. Yeah. Mustache too. It's a good thing you're related to your dad. He's a handsome. Fan. He's a handsome man. Is everyone gonna have like a chance to? Is Randy gonna be able to take a hack at it or? No, I, I think I want to go into a barber. What do you like to do with these cheeks? Are you a nice sharp, nice sharp cheek guy, or a, keep it a little more natural? Probably more of a natural guy, but whatever you prefer. I like the natural look too. Especially I'm a flexible person. I grow back tomorrow anyway. Yeah. Maybe there's not too many mustaches you can use your fingers for. It's a, <laughs> I was uh, game planning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna dig into this, and it's just like, oh yeah, just cut it like hair. I'm a big gearhead. Are you? And I love Tesla. What they're doing to the automotive industry. It's great stuff. 
Oh, Jesus. I, yeah, it's, I read a comment that they were like, hey, wait, just give it a second. It's still rendering. Yeah. So it's still, it's still uploading. It's buffering. I love it, man. I love it. But you're not going to be able to get anything else like that, you know? Like, you're at 150. What if I just, I mean, imagine I get to, I have the perfect view of, like, of the cars out front. If I saw that thing driving by, I would, like, look. stop. Gonna, yeah. and, yeah. Well, you just people talking, that's for sure. Yeah, it might have been the first, maybe. At the end of the loop, yeah. I think I remember my grandpa was really like, I was scared of flashing eyes. I think I'm right there when I was like 10. I mean, you're like 6'12. How, uh, would you even fit in that thing? The truck? Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, with that pointy top line, apparently the headrings. Good. This guy looks like he gives the best hugs. <laughs> I do. Well, we're Yeah. Well, fellas, this is goodbye, possibly, perhaps. Not really gonna show up on this channel anymore. I'm over on Beard Brand Alliance. That's where all of our grooming and self-improvement videos are going. If you dig those videos, head on over there. Otherwise, just stick around and watch more barbershop videos.